By now, you may have already seen some Facebook posts with this three-dimensional aspect. What you may not know is that creating a post like this in Blender is quick and easy. That's because all Facebook needs to produce this effect is an image and a depth map of that same image. A depth map is an image like this one, where the lightest parts represent what is closer and the darkest parts represent what is farther. When we send a conventional image and a depth map corresponding to this image to Facebook, it processes these two images together and prepares the post with the 3D effect automatically for us. So, let's see how to prepare this depth map in Blender. I'm here with the robot of the final project of my latest course, Learn Blender 2.8, for this example. If you want to check the course, I will leave the link with a discount coupon in the description. But you can use these steps with any scene you have. When you have your scene, you can set the render the way you want. This method will work with both EV and Cycles. The only thing you need to make sure is that here in the View Layer tab, the Z Pass option of the Passes panel is enabled. Then, you render the image normally. After rendering the image, you can save it with any name you like. This will be the main image of the publication. Now, we just need to prepare the depth map. To do this, we need a composer editor, and the fastest way we have to access one is by clicking here in the Compositing Workspace. Here, we need to make sure that the Use Nodes option is enabled here in the Editor header. With this, we will see the node of the rendered image and the output node here on the right. For us to visualize what's happening, I will change this editor down here for an image editor. And I will change the image displayed here to Render Result. This way, we can visualize here the result of the composition. The way it is now, we are seeing the final image itself, because the output being used is the image output. If we want to see the depth channel, we will have to connect this depth output to the image input. Now we can see how the depth map is being interpreted. And the first problem we detect here is that it has very little contrast. That is, the difference between the lighter and darker parts of the image is very small. A quick way to solve this is by using the Normalize node. Then, I will use the Shift-A shortcut to open the creation menu. I will go to Vector and I will click Normalize. If I connect the Normalize in the middle of this connection now, we will see that it will remap the minimum and maximum values of the image, and we will have a much higher contrast. The next problem we have is that this depth map is inverted. What Facebook needs is a map that is lighter in the parts that are closer and darker in the parts that are farther away. To solve this, we can open the creation menu with Shift-A, Go to Color and create an Invert node. If we connect this node between these two now, we will see that the image will be inverted and the front will be lighter and the back darker. And finally, we can add one more node to adjust the contrast of this image. 
and the node that I like to use to adjust the contrast is the RGB Curves node. This node will also be in the Creation menu within the Color category. For this image, I already did some tests and concluded that the 3D post is better if I raise the left point to lighten the background a bit and create a midpoint and move it down a bit to make the contrast a bit sharper. These node settings may vary from scene to scene and you may need to do some testing before your post goes the way you want. Now, we just have to save this image here in the image menu of the editor. You can use any name you want for the post images. The only rule you have to follow is that the death map must have the same name as the main image, followed by underscore bath. Now, when you post on Facebook, just click photo video and select both images at once. With this, Facebook will process both images together and generate the 3D post for you.